Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. Yes, my name of course is Mr. Mokolover, and let's continue playing as the German Reich. In Hearts of Iron 4, it is 1949, and we are at war with the Japanese. Let us continue and destroy the Turkish Empire, develop advanced landing craft, and call Siam has called the Turkish Empire as their enemy in the Confederate Siamese War. Now that's a war you'd never think you'd ever hear. The Confederate Siamese War. Cool, we just finished down here. Uh, our goals, finish off Africa completely, finish off Turkey completely, um, other than that, finish off South America completely. Right now, I believe we're justifying for, against Peru, which doesn't make any sense, but you know what, we're going to roll with it. We'll roll with it, any upgrades? Nope, didn't think so, kind of disappointing. Uh, tanks, they are headed down to be around Peru, which is great. Oh boy, oh no, what happened? We sunk it, so what the heck? Oh, that carrier is almost gone. Repair immediately. Yeah, for you guys. Um, I want to say, yeah, you already have high repair. That's oh my goodness. Oh, here's a. I've lost a heavy cruiser. Holy crap! Holy cow! We found the Japanese fleet. Um, sure. You know what? I'm gonna lose quite a few ships. I want everyone to repair. Just leave the battle if you can. Don't worry about it. That's what we have naval planes for. We did only sink a destroyer so far. You know what? That's actually kind of surprising. That's actually kind of cool. Finally, we've got someone to match our naval strength. I know the Japanese are very, very strong, but we got a lot of naval bombers, and I ain't afraid to use them. I've got a ton of naval bombers. So that's actually really good. Oh, I have no superiority over here. Air superiority. Huh. Well, let's rectify that. Plus air support, naval bombers. Let's put some... Oh god, there's so many planes here that are not super good. Put 400 of these guys down here. That's probably all we really need for that. But then add in another 800 naval bombers. Good and good. Very cool. And sunk a Turkish sub. Awesome. And yeah, we can still annex stuff. And I'm probably actually going to keep... Istanbul for myself just because it's you know it's a prize city something you should probably keep in mind oh we lost oh we lost the carrier god dang it no I actually lost a carrier I might lose a second carrier as well oh, I lost a battleship a 1940s battleship yeah the Japanese fleet you're gonna have to die now you're definitely gonna have to die I can't believe I lost oh, okay we, we lost an Italian ship that's okay yeah sorry but this Japanese fleet I can't believe I actually lost a battleship a heavy cruiser a carrier an Italian ship and they lost almost nothing. That was one of the worst defeats we've ever suffered in any war in this campaign, which is really disappointing. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll definitely make it up. We will definitely make it up. I promise you that. Ooh, our secondaries have been knocked out. Ooh, that's not good. So yeah, go ahead, planes. Wreck them, shrek them, and make them forget about everything. Anyways, uh, here's something I did not expect to happen fairly soon. Uh, yesterday, by the time... Oh, here we go. By the time this video has appeared, I checked yesterday. And I hit 400 sub subscribers, so that's actually really... That's actually really cool. 400 subscribers? I didn't think we'd get here this fast. I kind of remember the days when we hit 300, 350, but it's been a while, but... Just want to say thank you to everyone who's watching. 400 subscribers is quite... Quite a lot, actually. I didn't... I don't think I'd ever get there, but... You know, 400 subs, that's pretty cool. Despite YouTube being, you know, YouTube in 2019... 400 subs is nothing really to laugh at. But anyways, let's continue playing on the Battle of Heraklion. I'll come back to the subscriber thing in just a little bit, but I want to go over this first. Heavy cruiser, cool. We sunk two light cruisers. We sunk one of their own carriers, you piece of garbage. And then a light, uh, not a light, but an early battleship and three destroyers. That's great. That's in retaliation for being a bitch to us. Exactly. That's what I thought. Cool. You just Oh, you can't go that way because, yeah, that makes sense. They're guarding the area, they have their ships here. Yeah, I'm sorry Japan, but I'm not sorry. Another battleship, they're pride of the fleet, as well as another carrier. So we lost one carrier, battleship, and a heavy cruiser, which actually are extremely replaceable because I already have <laughs> a battleship ready, level four battleship, two battle cruisers, and another uh, heavy cruiser, light cruiser, and quite a few of those um, destroyers. So not really worried, I mean, yeah, we lost the guys, but we did sink another battleship, another destroyer, and another heavy cruiser, so Japan can go screw itself. Cool. Awesome. At least we're getting a little bit of naval action. I'm actually glad about that. 
Because honestly, just piecemealing enemies' navies is pretty easy, especially if you use naval, naval bombers. But with large battles like this, like, oh my goodness, yes, Italian and the Greek fleet are duking it out with the Japanese. This makes it so much more interesting. Even, even if you lose things, it's more interesting. It's like, oh my god, a, a real naval battle. Uh, yeah, go ahead, don't even do that. I want everyone here just, just to repair. Just go home, repair, don't worry about anything. Uh, oh god. Two, two light cruisers. Oh, this is, that needs some, wait, which one is this one? This is German Task Force 8, which is the one that says two down there. I'm going to actually put, boost you up. You have a total of a capacity for two capital ships. So I'm going to give you, let's see, a battle cruiser, because you're fairly fast, and then a heavy cruiser, so you have a little bit more firepower. Put you under here, two, do that, so this way you still have at least two capital ships within each task force. Now I guess my carrier is back out or something here. Uh, the, my, one of my carriers is coming back in, coming in with an extra 1260 plans to bomb the living crap out of the Japanese fleet. Yes please, yes daddy. Two carriers, four light cruisers, five light cruisers, and six, seven destroyers. And dictatorial Sian, Sin Kyung has capitulated. Great stuff, guys. Go ahead and come here. Afri the African front is almost completely finished off. Uh, but uh, I think we're doing okay in India. India. India is kind of a mess, honestly. I did lose a Marine Division. I did see it earlier, and I didn't want to talk about that because I already lost a carrier, but whatever. Um, definitely going to need some more divisions around here do that for now I will have to pull off some other divisions from elsewhere probably you guys uh, garbage if I do this then you can only reach that far I need another army I need the army in Africa and Turkey to be finished up realistically because India is going to be a giant mess Turkey you gotta finish up here please Trabzon oh we sunk a uh, Turkish destroyer very good Nice, so we lost a couple allied destroyers, but they're not that great. In exchange for seven allied destroyers, eight light cruisers, and of course, two carriers. Bomb them the, to hell. And then another British, not British, Japanese battle cruiser, light cruiser, and a destroyer. Ah, uh, very good. Oh, another division. Cool, very cool. We can't go to war with the Peruvians yet, but something tells me that they're probably not going to do very well when we do go to war with them. One, two, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. That's good, that's good. Keep going, keep going, you're good. They took back Istanbul, god dang it. That's okay, we'll get it back eventually. Actually, what army do have to go there? Yeah, instead, just come on back. Eventually we'll destroy whatever fleet they got. Backup places, backup ships. You, just focus on this area, help take them out. Very cool. Actually, them taking back Istanbul wasn't a bad idea since we can bomb the hell out of their ships that are trying to repair. That's not too bad. Uh, you're all repairing. Should all repair. Even though this one actually might be done already. Oh, so this is the one we added. No, no this is not the one we added. We, this sells a carrier and a heavy cruiser. Compared to it. Oh, the, oh wow. That is a damaged light cruiser. Holy crap. That's not good. Let's see here. Uh, oh, baby. What happened? What happened? All right, let me see this first. And then see that. Nice. Oh, did we lose? Oh, we might have lost something. What happened? There was a little thing up here that said one of our ships was very, very injured. Hmm, interesting. Regardless, South Africa is nice, done, and dusted with. Now I immediately need you to come over here to India. And my Marines have been encircled. Oh, boy. Give them a extra push. Send you guys this way. Up and around town. Send one of your marines this direction, first of all. Go ahead, hold, and come up this way. I don't want to lose all my marines. Nice, two more destroyers sunk. Very cool, very cool. Oh yeah, go ahead when you can, too. Very nice. Crush the Japanese. Anything else in Turkey? Nope, cool. Another Coast Guard division, awesome. Very cool. Awesome, a little small in pocket, a little pocket here in the Turkish lands. As we destroy anything that remains in the Mediterranean, any ships at least. Oh, a Turkish battlecruiser has been sunk, very cool. 
followed by a Japanese destroyer and another Japanese light cruiser. Yeah, Japan, you're not going to be doing so well. And we can go to finally to war with Ecuador. I mean, Peru. But yes, Ecuador. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm surprised we weren't actually at war with them already. Uh, that's how you build a good Kriegsmarine, people. That's really why I did this campaign. Just have a lot of planes. Uh, and this war is actually going to take me a while because they have you know, quite a bit of manpower. Quite a few divisions, actually. So attacking them is not, I repeat, is not going to be easy. But using tanks, we might have a better chance. Oh, the Japanese are here, too. Uh, anything over here? I'm really interested in Turkey right now. Hmm. Uh, they still have a couple of light cruisers and another destroyer, which is fine. But it looks like there's a couple things up here. Huh. A couple of Turkish ships hanging out. Not going to really be able to repair. Good. Turkey is dying very quickly. The attrition here is not very good. But that's okay. That is definitely a-okay. India, just hold on. The Marines made it out somehow. Thank the Lord. And I want you to do something like that. Yeah, that'd be fine. Stemming them off through there. Can't believe I lost the Marine Division. But, you know what? That's okay. Go ahead. Take these two these areas out. I don't think the Japanese will really mind. Awesome. 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 Manchuko is getting crushed. That's good. It's very good. Port Strikes doing a great job. Another Japanese light cruiser is gone, sunk, and dusted with. Lost a couple planes here and there. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and build up maybe a couple more airports so we can do some more successful bombing runs, perhaps. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, tanks doing a pretty good job. Pretty good job. Moving in very nicely. Hopefully becoming a mountaineer of Von Klug. Oh my goodness, a lot of convoys. Shot down quite a few planes. People's Minjang has capitulated, as well as the Turkish Empire. Awesome. And, like I said before, Italy will get a lot of Turkish territory. Where are you guys positioned at? You're down here. Oh, you're in the Americas. Oh, this is going to be disgusting, the way we're going to form this up. You guys come down here. That's fine. You guys are in Turkey, which is fine. I'm actually going to send you this way to go from here. And then you are based in... You are the Istanbul police type of group people. You guys can come here, but you're not actually going to make it there, because hopefully Sin Kyong will fully be gone by the time we get there. Fine with me. You guys, go ahead and pause the attacks. You're not doing super well, so. And actually, can we improve infrastructure here? What about better radar? Actually, that's probably a good idea. Let's get some better radar. We can find out where all the enemies are, maybe improve infrastructure in a few key select areas. You know, good stuff like that. If there's anything you want to know strategically about me is that I love building up infrastructure. I don't know what it is about, but getting more supplies, getting you know faster travel through areas is always a thing of mine that I like. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and take Damascus and give it to Italy because I'm going to give Italy a large portion of the Middle East when we're done here. Just so that they feel that they got some territory out of this instead of just me taking all the European countries as puppets. And yes, I did have it paused. My bad. It's a good thing that the Mediterranean is completely closed off. And now, we can actually do some damage here. Do that area too. And at this point, uh, let's see, do we have any fleets engaging enemies? Oh, we actually lost another destroyer. That's not good. We, but we did sink eight enemy destroyers, so that's not bad. That's not a bad exchange. And a light cruiser. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, we found some more enemy fleets. Even more interesting. Cool, Japanese thing there. The Confederates took over the Galapagos Islands. Awesome. Shell dies. Great. Great, great, great. Advanced light battery sounds like a great idea. Great addition to us as well. Six more destroyers have been sunk. And then unread port strike results. Great. Oh. Even more. Awesome. Very cool. Peru is dying. We got a gray United States, a Confederated States. And Turkey is dying in Canada, Unitary Canada as well. Uh, and, oh wow, they actually capitulated much faster than I thought they would. Awesome! Where are my tanks? Oh, do I have you selected already? Yes, I do. Good, then we can focus our take tanks towards Asia. But I'll go through Europe first to get to Asia, just because I don't want to deal with any sort of naval battles over here. Because this is, I'm not going to manually invade all these different islands. That's, that's like insa insane just to do. 
absolutely nuts. Why are they giving me M1 Thompsons from Brazil? Because uh, I have two million of these guns, which I don't want. Because we already make enough as is. I make a little less than 12,000 infantry equipment pieces already. You know what? All we need really is just one extra gun, a Carbiner 98K to destroy Japan. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, baby. Look at what was down here. So, hey, we've already accomplished South Africa. We've already accomplished... Uh, nah, I think we're okay. Accomplished Turkey. We've already pretty much accomplished this area down here as well. So I am feeling very good about this. Uh, let's get some Coast Guards. Let's start guarding some areas. Help suppress areas. I mean, liberate them mentally. Yeah. We're going to help liberate our enemies mentally. I like that description a little bit better. Uh, I don't think I really need... Since I don't own this territory, I'm not really going to guard it. I don't think anyone's really going to invade Turkey now. But that's just my hypothesis. Uh, let's see here. You know what? We could probably actually use some resistance, some suppression, and some liberation in some of these areas. Yeah. Yeah, liberation. That's the term I'm looking for. No, guys. I'm okay. Yes, I destroyed most of my stockpile of guns, but that's okay. I don't want to produce garbage or have extra garbage in... My reserves, it's okay. No, 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 guys. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. Don't question me. I know exactly what I'm not doing. Awesome. Beijing. Da -da -da. Just do a whole bunch of areas here, just in case. Because this is not going to be going super well for us when we actually invade all this and lose probably a lot of manpower. Yeah. Vietnam. Cool. Nothing ever happened in Vietnam. Nothing bad ever happened, at least. Cool. Yeah, very good. Very good. Suppression. Da, 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 liberation. Not oppression. Anti-oppression. That's what we are called. The anti-oppression people. And I'll probably just take out Tibet just because I can. Cool. Good enough. Alright, what else is going on here? Got people moving around. We got our infantry units having a good time. Kind of. They're on go if you are careful enough. Awesome. Do we need more planes? We probably will need even more planes. Good, that's a good area to put planes in. Uh, do this area because so we can help bomb Japan. Uh, here sounds like a good idea as well as here. Cool. Now, I'm not going to abandon this area with my ships just yet. Uh, but I, apparently I already have. Where are you? You're docked. You're... Oh, are you all repairing or something? They're not on any gold. No. Huh. Docked in certain areas. All right, go ahead and patrol. Go ahead. I mean, you guys already have, you know, automatic split off now enabled. You guys are doing fine over here, it looks like. Cool. Turkish ships, convoys, the good stuff. Hmm. I have 7 out of 10. Several of these are repairing, of course. You could use one more capital ship. So you are number 9. Third from the right, number 9. We need one more capital ship for this guy. We will put in the battleship just because so we can mingle with the light cruiser. This one and that one. Oh, no, I mean heavy cruiser. That's what I mean. Cool. So the battleship will meet up with them. Do... British Parliament debates intervention in the Benelux. Well, I hope you don't declare war on me, since you are my puppet, Oswald, Oswald Mosley. You're lucky you're alive. Danish inter... Oh, God. Danish intervention. At least they have more ships than they do have divisions. So this, I guess that's kind of good. All right. Let's see. That's pretty good. Two capital ships. You guys are repairing or refitting. That's fine. Who else we got? Anyone else need more ships? Quite a few. Quite a few... I think we're okay. I think we're okay overall. Oh, what you, you are repairing, so that makes sense. Cool. Uh, you guys, do you need anything? No, you look pretty good. Subs? Oh, this is my first Faust. That's actually a pretty good group. Go ahead here. And I'm going to go ahead and station you in the Africas. No, you don't call them the Africas. You call this getting closer to Asia. Oh, nice. Let's see, where's a good port to dock you guys in? Is there anything at least level 5? Well, you guys can come here. Jazz. 4, 4, 1, 4. Huh. Well then. Cool. 
Two more destroyers. Casualties. I bet I'm over a million. No. Oh. Huh. A little more than half a million. Japanese, not bad. I got quite a few divisions. More than me. But my divisions are better. Just because they're German. You know. Pretty. Just German things. Just German things. Uh, Sistan, you probably could use a little bit more infrastructure. Uh, Kabul could probably use a little bit more infrastructure as well. And really, I think we're just trying to crunch down this way towards through mainland China. Go ahead and increase your abilities, even though that's probably a bad idea. What's the Japanese manpower like? We're less than a million manpower ourselves. Oh, they got a lot of manpower. That's a lot of guys. So, to help support the war effort here... Oh, wait. Tanks. Um, you know what? Come here to tanks. Come to the Mediterranean. And this way, we'll, get, we'll form you that way. You come this way. Come that way. Where are you guys? Owen Rommel is in the New World. Not really interested in attacking Asian islands, so we're going to do the same thing over here. Awesome. So you do, you do know what to do. Uh, what is this? UK. Seriously. Seriously. Danish intervention. Please tell me you get at least a war goal, not just like automatically declare war when you do this. Okay, so they get the puppet focus against the North Sea Empire. Yeah, if you do that, I'm just literally going to use console commands and make sure that you actually don't do that. Because that's kind of garbage to us. And that's not that's not cool, man. That's not cool. But let's go ahead and throw some planes down around these areas. Because we could probably use a little bit more. Oh, I'm going to get rid of a lot of these planes. Oh my goodness, they're so garbage. Plus air support. Uh, let's see. Heavy fighter is probably what we want. But 800 fighters when we only have space for 100. Great idea. Really? Oh, we got a lot of political power. Ooh, 2.92 a day. Interesting. All right, they're deploying. They're, and they're ready. Cool. Is someone invading us? Let's see. You guys come here. You guys come here. You guys come here. And yeah, you guys already have 3,800. Where are you? Yeah, that's good. Lots of bombing runs would be great. Are we getting invaded? Russian... Oh my gosh. Russian Far East. Yes, we are getting invaded. Um, Do I have any spare armies? I mean, I kind of have some armies coming up. It's going to be quite a while before they can actually get there. Ooh. You know what? I can take you off, probably. Are you doing anything? No, you're not. You guys, make it to Africa, at least. You, though, send all of you guys to combat this. That'll be good. And then we'd have no more worries, right? No more worries. Absolutely no more worries. All right. You go ahead and keep spreading yourselves out. I don't think we see anything in the Black Sea, so that's good. Come here. Just do, like, this ent the entire Mediterranean right now, just to see if there's any more Japanese fle fleet ships that we can sink, destroy, you know, the good stuff. Uh, good, they're attacking us. You guys over here. Did I not give you orders? Alright, give them about three seconds. Maybe they'll plan something, maybe they won't. Oh, they're ready to go anyways. Uh, well then. Some of them are doing something, some of them are not. Alright. Just go ahead and try to start moving, that's fine with me. Yeah, I'll take a couple of losses, but that's okay. I've got the political power, we've got the manpower, we've got some infantry equipment. I feel confident that we, our guys can do it. So, since we're kind of waiting here, waiting a while to see what's going to happen, what's going to go on, uh, let's talk about, I don't know, something else. Uh, we don't need to do that. Cool. Actually, yes, we do. Uh, so, I, know I hit 400 subscribers. That's pretty, honestly, pretty, pretty awesome. But, I don't think I'm probably going to do anything special about it, just recognize that I do have 400 subs now. Pretty awesome. But, I was thinking maybe when we hit 500 subscribers, maybe I could do something. I mean, someone said I should do like a face cam reveal or face reveal, but I don't want to dox myself. I really don't want to dox myself. And that division was destroyed. Alright then. But, I'm thinking, you know what? What if I did like a live stream or something? I've actually never live streamed this game before. I've never... I think I've live streamed on my PS4 before, before I knew what I wanted to do with my YouTube channel. But, 
maybe that'd be something you guys might be interested in if I hit 500 subs, maybe. I'm not sure what time of day it would be, what day it would be, because I've got events coming up, kind of. And I actually, actually, I won't be here in, a, in like a week or two. Actually, I'll, I'll be doing something else. Hmm. But, I think just this, just things to keep in mind, you know, what you guys might be interested in. If you want me to live stream, if maybe we won't do anything, we just say I have a congratulatory, celebratory yay or something, but, you know, maybe that would be kind of cool. I don't know. Or maybe just have, like, one massively long episode, or like, five, five hours of me playing as just somebody, just seeing what's what's really going on, and it's kind of hanging out or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, let's keep slowly moving into Asia, I guess. Whew. Uh, radar, I think, will be okay. We're building that up anyways. Infrastructure just is so god awful. Never fight a land war in Asia. Just never. And you know what? Since we're fighting in Asia, yeah, I might as well try to go to war with Tibet. Cool. Oh, yeah, our manpower is not doing super great. But that's okay. That's okay. Oh, 1944 carrier holes. Probably never going to use those, but that's okay. Awesome. Next up. Naval mine avoidance. Super good. Let's go ahead and... Actually, I'm probably going to need some more of this. Actually, I don't need more steel, huh? Cool. Execute nuclear strikes on Japanese soil. I did not realize this. So I need to nuke them twice. And then they'll offer their unconditional surrender. Which we've tried before. I think I played that, did that as the United States and didn't exactly work out the way we wanted it to. Hmm. We'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens. Cool. Very cool. I think so far we've been very successful. I mean, in this episode, yeah, we haven't really advanced into Africa, but that really wasn't one of my goals this episode. I mean, if you can, go ahead. That'd be great. You are actually arriving here in Africa fairly nicely. Go ahead and start coming to Central Asia. You guys are getting close to where you guys need to be. And then, who are you? You are towards Dictatorial Sinkiang. So if you can go, go ahead. Just don't be too crazy about it. And then you guys are in America doing nothing. Okay, then. That's not cool. And then you are just hanging out here. All right. Awesome. Very awesome. And casualties. Since we've told our guys to attack, yeah, we're taking a lot more casualties. But so are the Japanese. That's not bad. All right. So we have not found anything here in the Mediterranean. What we're going to do is this. We're going to uh, take you all off of the Mediterranean since it's a closed port. Closed ocean. Not really an ocean. It's a sea. Go ahead. Repair. I will give them maybe a week to repair whatever they need to repair. And then we'll start putting them around India. And actually, since you guys are done, I'm going to tell you the same thing. Right now, go ahead and repair. And we'll definitely support our soldiers by putting them around India and stuff. Japan, come on, you gotta lose more soldiers than us. Uh, we don't have that much political power. It's fine. China is going okay. It's not going great. Wow, you guys are getting bushwhacked by the Japanese soldiers right now. Manstein's a level 7 general. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Hmm. Manpower, they still have a lot. They have a lot of ships still. And it looks like it's been about a week so far, so we probably have a good chance. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and make sure that we cover the entire area. And tell them to go whenever they want. Cool. All right. Oh, we maybe push it into... Ooh, we maybe pushed in a little bit here. Cool. Uh, you guys just keep going on, going on. That's good. And let's go ahead and get our ships back. And move around the cabin that way. You guys docked. When you guys are good to go, I want you to patrol the Arabian Sea, that area, and this area. Not too much, not too much, but just enough. Looks like I got another email. Let's see, you guys, I want you to... I think you guys are here. Yeah, you already are very close. I want you to patrol... Nah, not patrol. Strike force... Eh, maybe patrol, maybe... I don't know. Just do a patrol and... Somewhere that's not too far away. Just do the Arabian Sea. It's close enough. I can go to war with Tibet now. I feel good about that. Uh, you guys are moving to the Arabian Sea. And you guys are operating in the Caribbean Sea. This area still... You know what? Extend your range over here. 
Let's see about that. And for my submarinos. Oh my goodness, we got 71. Oh my gosh, this is a backup reserve fleet. Oh my gosh, a carrier, six battleships, three battlecruisers. Holy crap, that's a lot of guys. Uh, just give me all your subs. Come here. Just form a new one. Come here. Awesome. You guys, go ahead. Do some convoy raiding. Not here, 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 or here. Do East Indian Ocean, West Indian Ocean, and then do Bay of Bengal. That should be good enough for convoy raiding. Cool. Very cool. And the Brits are still doing justifying, aren't they? Let's see, you're going to have to go to war with me because if you are, I'm just going to annex you straight up. A little laggy, a little laggy. Greater German Reich is looking great. Dictatorial Sin Kyung is pretty much all but dead at this point. You're heading down. That's great. We are running out of time for today's episode, which is totally fine by me. Since we have done such a pretty good job. I'm not going to lie, pretty good job. We've taken a, quite a few losses, but that's pretty much expected. The Greeks invaded Manchuria. I don't know what it is about the Greeks, but the Greeks, they love invading different areas. I mean, before they invaded Canada and Labrador... They've, in previous campaigns, they've just invaded everywhere they can and then die immediately. Oh. Japanese convoys. And now they've invaded Manchuria from the other side when I, when there's obvious, you know, mines around here. I didn't put my ships to ensure naval superiority, but the, the Greeks did it anyways. The Greeks are just a bunch of strong people that have a, a lot of opinions and a lot of beliefs in which... They'd like to commit not life. Yes, you heard it right. They like to commit not life. Cool. Oh, we need to go to war with the Tibetans. Tibetans. Tibet people. Oh, we lost two subs. That's not cool. Uh, I don't have any spare armies, though. Not really. What are you guys doing? You guys are headed over to... Yeah. Go ahead and surround Tibet if you can. And let's see. Anything else? Ooh. We're doing a good job. I think we're doing a very good job overall. I mean, nothing really lost. Nothing nothing too bad. North Sea Empire, very good. Anything else? No. Very good. Just sink everything that you can find around here. Uh, I think all of these islands are actually owned by us already, which is actually pretty great. Go ahead and stock, put some radar up and around here, just so that we can see anything that's moving around. If we need to blow anything up, you know, the, the usual. As well as down here. Oops. Let's do that. And then do this down here since we, I guess, own the island through our puppet. I guess we got something done here. Military police that I'm not even going to use, but let's research it anyways. We sunk a Japanese light cruiser in exchange for a plane, and then we... Wow, 18 convoys. That's not too bad. And we've encountered quite a few Japanese convoys down here, too. Great. Oh, my goodness. Eight destroyers, and then three more light cruisers. Great job, guys. Really great job. We've been expanding very well into Asia with suffering a little over a million casualties. But the Japanese have definitely lost more than us. And But with that in mind, guys, we are going to end today's episode there. So, we've done a great job. We've basically reduced the war down to only Asia. And pushing them back across into their own homeland. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we maybe take over the rest of China and India. Thanks for watching.